Now, I know you can't see me right now, but I, I guarantee you can see that starlit headliner. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Never had one of those before. We got us a 2004 5.9 Cummins. We're gonna fill it up with some diesel here. You gotta drive home, go figure. I move out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And then as soon as I do, I bought in some of my cleanest trucks from Fort Wayne since I moved away, go figure. And usually when I lived here, I could never find them anywhere local. So anyways, I'll show you around this truck here in a little while. You will lies deep way under the surface And like a fire needs coal in the furnace This is your goal that makes it all worth it This is your why yeah. that gives you your turn Let's go Thoughts can keep you down, pushing deep until you drown Or they can keep you up strong, focused on the now Glass half full or has it been emptied out? Well, that's all up to you and your mind Do you doubt anything, everything, not a thing Make my thoughts work for me, manifest what I need what I want, what I see, I could be anything. I attract all the things that I. Well, we're smoking a pork loin. Thing is looking pretty good, but we got ourselves a new truck here, guys. And uh, it's 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 raining, and I had to drive it today, so it's pretty dirty because we just got that one completely clean for some more photos and video stuff that we got for our social media accounts. Let me show you around this thing. Super cool truck, super clean truck. I mean, it is, again, it, it's kind of like that one. It's not, you know, high performance. Like that one's pretty much bone stock other than I think it's had a new clutch at some point, but it's very clean, very well maintained. It's really only got an exhaust and a lift pump in terms of performance. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. Uh, it's got a front leveling coil kit, and then it's got some nice powder coated traction bars. But other than that, um, there's not a lot done to it in terms of, you know, performance really at all. So um, performance or suspension, there's not really a lot done to it. It's got, I believe those are a set of fifth gen, like Laramie stocks on it. Looks pretty cool, color matched rear bumper. And it's got the color matched front bumper on it as well. Headlights, I'm not sure who makes those. They kind of look like an Alpha Rex type of headlight based on the design, but I could be wrong. Those look pretty freaking sweet, paint matched grill super dark tint it's a five percent sides five back and a 50 percent five percent brow with fourth gen interior now that's where it gets cool so this has got newer style fourth gen leather interior and the whole thing fourth gen center console center console doesn't fit like factory obviously so like for the four-wheel drive this was like cut out here i don't really love this design i feel like there could be a way to make like a small lever that is like like welded onto there that comes out and then goes straight up to the side here that gives you a handle so you could like pull it forward and back and engage your four-wheel drive a little bit easier because right now you have to like just stick your hand in there and like slide the lever back which it works it's just obviously not a super clean finish job um the way that it is right now apple carplay pioneer touchscreen head unit this outlet here works and it links to your apple carplay and all that jazz super clean interior it's got a starlit headliner Thing is super clean suede very very nice install job there's no gaps no flaps thing looks really really good very tight it's got that fourth gen rear seat setup as well which is super nice i know that sometimes when guys swap fourth gen seats they'll do like just the fronts and they'll like half butt and not do the freaking you know rear which is I get it, it's not always the easiest thing to do, but it does it does make the install a lot cleaner and it makes the interior look a lot cleaner where it all matches. So center console, fronts, and rears. In rears, it all matches, it looks good. Same with the dash, all the coloring matches up really nice, the door panels and everything. It's pretty sweet. Truck's got 160,000 miles on it, which guys, I try to find the cleanest and the lowest mileage trucks that I can find. Emphasis on lowest that I can find with being super clean, which is sometimes a very hard combination because I have found trucks that are absolutely rotted out pieces of crap, but they've only got 80,000 miles. And it's like, well, it's cool that it's got low miles, but 
then I have to restore everything on the truck because it's a rotted piece of crap. Or you find something that's super, super pristine and well-maintained and somebody was meticulous about maintenance, but they drove it for 400,000 miles. So it's getting very tough. The more time goes on to find those good, clean and low mileage trucks with the perfect combination of both. Like this thing's got no rust on it anywhere on the body. I mean, it's got, you know, road water and dirt on it, but like the fenders are super clean. Again, it's got a lot of water, but super clean. The frame is very, very clean for an 04. I don't know if I mentioned that, it is an 04. Here's under the front end. Very, very clean. Bilstein shocks, Bilstein, Bilstein steering stabilizer. Um, again, a lot of road junk, dirt. You know, it's not perfect, but um, for 160 on it and uh, being up north, this thing is pretty dang freaking clean for what you can find up here anymore. I mean, it's really hard to find these things in good shape. Anybody up north understands the struggle. This thing is about as nice as you can find around here for these things, just about. Give a little start up here. Come on. Turn it on, turn on the lights. I like the black badge on this truck too. It goes really nicely. Again, I'll show you the front fenders. It's got a little, little teeny tiny crinkle in the fender there. A little paint chip. But other than that, there's water. Fenders are spotless. Again, it's got some rock chips and stuff, but the doors, rockers, cap corners, they're all spotless on the truck. And then on the interior, got the occasional brake light that comes on it's not from the e-brake the uh not the e-brake the parking brake. parking brake works just the way it's supposed to um but he hooked up a brake controller for whatever reason when they tapped into the wiring for the brake controller it always shows brake light i don't know why but it does and it's not a big deal starlet headliner super sweet all the fitment super sweet i hate the brow but i know why they did the brow because they took off the visors to have a cleaner look when they did the Starlet Headliner. And so they did a longer brow, they did a deeper brow than like you would typically want to do. They did almost a 50% brow on the thing or like a 40% like down the windshield because if the sun's in your eyes, you don't have anything to flip down it you know, to help with that. So that is nice in that regard because we were driving home right into the sun and uh, that was nice having that because I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, I wish I had visors because, you know, that's gonna suck if the sun's in your eyes, you know, because you don't have visors will flip down, but this actually helped it crazy. It makes a big difference. Again, you got Apple CarPlay. I'm not gonna plug it in because it's gonna show you my home address if I do that right now. Um, but you plug it in, everything works, touch screen, the Bluetooth, all that. All of your functions, your fan, your heat, AC, uh, everything works perfect. All of the options for where you want the heat and AC to go. You got that fourth gen interior. The power seat is even wired up. All of the adjustments work, which is pretty slick, but it's a clean truck. It's a nice truck. And in terms of the wheel and tire setup on this thing, I got some pretty cool looking wheels and tires coming for this thing. It's a, it's, it's a change up. It's a setup that we've actually never, ever done. 
at all. It's not like the last few setups that were, you know, like this one, I love it on that truck, but I wouldn't love that setup on this truck quite as much. We wanted to do something a little bit different and I think you guys are gonna really like it. Very daily drivable, but it's, it's a little bit bigger than what we've done recently. Different style, color combo we've never done before, but on this truck, I think it's going to look really killer. I did get an idea from a truck off of Google somewhere or on Custom Offset's website when I was looking through ideas and concepts to go with. I forget where it was, but I'll try to link a picture whenever we do end up putting them on there. I'm not gonna do it now, or it's gonna give away the entire setup, but um, I can at least show you the inspiration once we do get it done, and it's gonna look it's gonna look pretty freaking sick. We've never done the tire that we're putting on this, so that's gonna be a first, and the wheel size, and the wheel offset, and the brand of wheel and the color combo wheel we've never done before. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, hopefully that doesn't confuse you guys too much, but it's gonna be awesome. But in the meantime, uh, you can enter to win that truck right there over at lnpgear.com. Every $1 is gonna get you an entry towards winning this truck right now on the website. But if you buy a mystery box, or you subscribe to a coffee subscription or a detailing product subscription that ships to you every 30 days, you can get 10,000 entries right now when you place those orders for those products. And not only that, but when those items renew and ship to you every month, you're gonna get 10,000 more entries into each giveaway we do, which is gonna put you towards almost the top of entries that customers usually ever get for the giveaway. So 10,000 puts you literally right at the top of what the most are that anybody ever has. And um, it's just a way of saying thank you for subscribing to those products because I understand that it, it is more of a commitment to subscribe to something that you pay for every month. We appreciate every single customer. That's why we do bonuses for all sorts of different things, whether you're doing subscription products or not. But for those subscription products, right now you're getting the highest amount of entries we ever offer for anything on the store and that is for subscription products that renew every 30 days. Mystery boxes are the number one item on the store and the number one subscription product, hands down. People love them. If you wanna go grab one, that's what I recommend. You buy it, you sign up, and every 30 days you get new cool merch that's not on the store yet, and you get 10,000 entries in towards every single giveaway that we do. Then you never have to miss out on entering because it's automatically gonna get you entered every single time, as long as you stay subscribed to it and you're gonna get an absolutely crazy amount of entries towards winning those trucks every single month. Anyways, guys, that is gonna be it for the little promo on this thing. Let's get back to it. But on the note of this truck, super excited about it. The wheel and tire setup's gonna set this thing off and it's gonna look freaking killer. And we have not done one of these in a long time, it seems like, so I thought, hey, what the heck? We haven't had one of these trucks literally since we moved out here to the new place. So um, that means it's been at least six months now, coming on a little more than that even. And um, I think it's been close to a year now since we've done one of these, just about. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys are excited about this one and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.